kinky hair. Are you chewing on me? Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> Sorry about that, buddy. You okay? Huh? Are you okay? What are you chewing on? Jack. What are you chewing on? No, oh, that's a good puppy. <sighs> Sunday morning here at the Mongo's Garage Complex. We opted not to go to church today because my wife was exposed to COVID once again. And they rather us not come to church, which I can understand, I guess. But I don't know. What are you going to do? So we're going to get some stuff done here around the house. Looking for something. And the old work truck. There we go. Beautiful day here. That's probably really close. Hi, Jack. Jack's coming with us, I guess. I'm going to try and get some stuff done, like I said. We've got two things that need to get done. The garage needs cleaned. The boat needs to go in the garage. Oh, by the way, we got a boat. We'll talk about that later. And I need to get, well, this mess has got to get cleaned up. That's the fallout from the last couple of projects. Uh, I love it when I just find random tools laying everywhere. Don't you? Jack, pick up that screwdriver. Or not, I guess. Just a random old mess out here. This truck has got to run today so that we can move it around the farm. And I'm not real sure why it's not running. the shocks. I guess the shocks are gone, so the hood's got to come off of it. But JJ says it's not running. I'm willing to bet it's a crank wire somewhere. I'm gonna find it. So, yeah, that's that. Here comes Choo Choo Train. Let you guys watch Choo Choo. He's cooking. Normally they're not going that fast through here. Those are, uh, those are Coke cars, most likely coming out of Manessa, out of the Arsenal Middle uh, Coke plant there. One of the oldest Coke plants in the United States of America. Willing Lake Erie, of course, is the railroad, as you guys can see on the Coke cars. Uh, I believe that that's most likely, that Coke is most likely going to Cleveland uh, to be turned into steel. Of course, Willing Lake Erie, Cleveland is on Lake Erie, right? So. That, uh, like I said, it comes out of an Essen, uh, one of what we call the High Line or the Wabash, which is uh, what that railroad is. Always has been the Wabash. But uh, you've seen the, the movie, A River Runs Through It. Well, the railroad runs through my property. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do some mowing here first thing this morning while it's still nice. Uh, the field just up beyond this fence line here. I finish cut it about three or four times a year, and if I don't finish cut it right now, I'm going to have to uh, brush hog it, and I don't want to brush hog it. I want to keep it finish cut, so I don't know. Maybe I'll uh, bring you guys along for a little bit. Stick around here on a nice, beautiful Sunday at Mongo's Garage. This is my 2019 Kubota B2650. Bought this tractor new. Um, it's got 291 hours on it. It's the, uh, the workhorse of the farm. We do a lot of stuff with this tractor. Uh, here, even at the Mongo's Garage. There's a lot of the heavy lifting for us. Moving stuff around. Today, we're going to do some elements.
it again.
just started moving around. Finally put the new steering linkage on the Bronco. Hey, what's going on YouTube? You got the old Mongo man out here in the garage this evening. It's been a long day here at the Mongo garage uh, compound. Did some mowing. I think we touched just about uh, all the projects we've got going on. And uh, I want you to meet the new one. A 1989 Four Winds Horizon 200 powered by a 350 Chevy. Uh, OMC outdrive, open bow. Let's talk about what we got done tonight. So, like we were talking about, this is a Four Winds 1989. Uh, got the 350 Chevy in it with the OMC outdrive. Needs some interior work, as most all old boats do. We've already got some of the stuff tore apart. I did hear the boat run before I bought it. Uh, if you guys go back and you can see, uh, we did just about this exact job last year to a Wellcraft classic 190 and now we have a uh, horizon 200 which is a 20-foot boat sitting on a single axle trailer four winds trailer it's a trailer that came with the boat and how do i know that because they both have the same stripe on them it's a good looking boat uh it's in typical shape for 1989 nothing uh no surprise there right it needs a complete radio put in it we're gonna restore the outside of the boat. We're already starting to take off the decals off of the other side, as you can see. This side still has all the stripes and the decals on it. <clears throat> but uh, this will be boat number two for us. Boat flip number two. It has the full sofa seat in the back, two captain's chairs, and then of course, up front is uh, the chairs on both sides this one does have a uh, anchor hole up there an anchor box um the overall condition of the finish again just like a typical 89 what i do like about this boat uh, is that it has the full swim deck on the back so this swim platform i've already taken up the teak that's it there it's not in the greatest of shape but we're going to see if i can sand it and make it look better but it also has a four foot sun deck uh, over the motor and then the full sofa. So it's bigger than Rona, our last boat, but uh, not so big that it's gonna be too big for us to handle. And again, like I said, we've already started taking the decals off of it. As you guys can see down this side, we've got the, uh, the four winds off of it already. That lower decal. I started to peel that decal off with uh, the heat gun, but then quickly went over to the 3M eraser. Uh, that 3M eraser wheel, this is what it does up here, and it does it in about half the time. You can see this is the top stripe. And what I like to do is once we get this all off, last time I actually DA'd the, uh, the boat, but uh, my brother Grape told me that the uh, dual action buffers you don't have to DA them because of the buffing action that they have. You just go through the, the different grits. So we're going to give that a shot. You can see KJ's got a lot of the little trinkets off of it already. So what we'll come back and do with the, the red, the gray, and the white is I'll probably get a real nice silver, a large striped silver for the top and bottom seam. That way uh, it'll cover that up real nice. That's what I did on Rona anyway. Rona didn't have the silver stripe in it. But uh, that's pretty much what we've got going on. But like I said, it's been a busy day here. Uh, you guys got to see just a little bit of everything that we do on a normal day here at uh, Mongo's Garage. At least on a Sunday. But uh, I am done for the day. We're going to go in, probably finish putting this video together, and uh, be done. You know, probably get a shower and go to bed. So until next time, guys, uh, come back. I'm going to start a new build series on the boat here. I'm looking for a name. Uh, we're, we always name our boats and haven't come up with a name for this one yet, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure one out. No doubt. 
All right, guys, that's all for now. Uh, until we see you again, what happens in Mongo's garage stays in Mongo's garage. We'll see you guys later.